This short video will take you through how to complete an expense claim within Agresso for mileage only. Once you've logged into Agresso, you'll be presented with the landing page and a list of options within the toolbar down the left hand side of the screen. To start a new expense claim, click on the expenses tab within the left hand toolbar. This will be the second option down. Then choose the travel expenses option to begin a claim for an expense. On the next screen, you will need to complete the following fields. Status. Leave this as draft for now while you input all the claim details. Resource. This will automatically be populated with your name and employee number. Travel type. Use the drop down menu to select the type of travel expense you wish to claim. You can select either expenses all or expenses private car. Expenses company car allowance relates to legacy anchor expense procedures. From mileage only claim, select expenses private car. Purpose. Provide a short description of the purpose of this claim. For example, mileage expenses for August. Comments. Enter the dates you are claiming between, for example, the 1st to the 31st of August. Once you have filled in all these fields, click on Next Step. You will notice that the Travel tab has been disabled. This is because any travel should be booked through Click Travel. On the Expenses screen, click on Add to enter the details of the mileage expense claim. This will then generate options in the box below. Use the Expense Type drop-down menu and select which type of expense you're claiming for. If you are not sure on what mileage rate you should be claiming and therefore which expense type to complete, please contact your line manager. Let's use the example here of claiming for some mileage in a personal car without an allowance. To do this, we need to select Private Vehicle, Not Car Allowance, up to 10,000 miles. Then you need to complete the following fields. Description. This should be completed in the format detailed in the description box. For example, 5th of August 2019, Bristol to Bradford, team meeting, home to office. Number stroke base. This needs to be completed for mileage expenses and is the number of miles you are claiming for. In this example, we'll use 210. Date. The date the journey was made. The rate and amount boxes will be pre-populated for you and can't be changed. You will also notice that your expense line in the box above automatically updates. You can also change the cost centre number if this journey needs to be allocated to a different cost code. Please note it will automatically default to your department centre. Once you've entered all the information required, you can either add another line of your mileage expenses by clicking the Add button or click on the next step to finalise your expense claim. Before we move on to next step, please note that for those colleagues with a car allowance, you will need to select private mileage with allowance from the drop down options, which will automatically adjust the mileage rate. Next step will bring you to the summary page. You now have two options, either save this claim as a draft so you can go back to it and add in more journeys, or if you have completed all your journeys, you will need to submit your claim for approval. Select the status drop down list and change to ready and click save. This will now submit your mileage expenses claim for line manager approval. If your line manager has approved your claim payment um, will be made into your bank account. If your line manager rejects your claim, you will receive email notification and you will need to log back into Egresso and see why and then amend if necessary. You, if you have submitted an expense claim containing a line for zero, your claim will be rejected and you will receive an email notification. You will have a notification here if an expense claim has been rejected. To amend your claim, open the claim and then click on next step to amend the expense line that is incorrect. 
It is the same process as before, but instead of adding a new expense, just change or delete the line that has been rejected. In this example, we will change the expense type to car allowance. We will also need to re-import the description. Click Next Step and then click Save to keep your changes.